Hello, this is Compound Interest Stock Guy. Today in this video, I'm gonna talk about canopy growth and just how the industry is going in cannabis, uh, how I think that the decisions they made was not a bad idea and how it may pay off in the future. I'm just uh, turning on to a busy uh, road, so uh, bear with me. Now I'm back on the road. All right, so the dealio is well, actually, before we get into this, I want to disclose I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment information purposes. Do not buy or sell based on anything I talk about. Buy or sell after you did your own research, due diligence, and you like the investments you're pursuing. If you haven't hit the like, I uh, appreciate if you hit the like. It's just a little thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, leave a comment down below. Anyways, let's get into this. All right, so Canopy Growth, Canopy Growth, CGC, Weed Ticker. All right, so, you know, me being me, I got strong opinions. I said it was it was good when, when Bruce Linton was gone. It was. It was good. Why? Because Bruce Linton didn't have the ability to make Canopy Growth profitable. So he doesn't have that type of... Uh, a level potential as far as an operational guy to, to maintain and uh, get uh, canopy growth to that level he created uh, you know ideas and all that stuff and they went with it but a lot of the things they've, they've done it they've just blown through a lot of cash and uh, you know they got to get consolation guys those guys are in a tighter uh, industry with uh, alcohol and they gotta you know they gotta keep those margins up and uh, canopy growth just didn't have the ability to do that based on their operational costs you know when it costs them like five six seven dollars a gram to grow it's not uh, beneficial on top of that a lot of their cannabis isn't very good so people don't buy it so if they have like 200 million in in cannabis inventory why would you want to um, grow more cannabis? Uh, you're already growing too much cannabis that, that's not selling. Sure, there's an argument that says that, well, what if uh, Ontario has a thousand stores? Well, what if? That argument will be in place when, when there's a thousand stores, but we're a little ways away from there. They're sitting at around 41 stores updated. I just saw that a few days ago. You know, wait till I get to like a thousand, not a thousand, but a hundred, two hundred, two fifty, three hundred stores. Then we can talk about okay, yeah. But there's a, uh, they're not the only uh, company on the block. You got Aurora, you got Hexo, you got Village Farms, you got Zenabis, you got Sundale, you got Afria. There's a whole host. You got Organigram, right? So, Canopy Growth just isn't gonna maintain. Um, their market share if they continue unless they lower their prices they're talking about doing outdoor grows so they want to do that for the spring I mean I mean yeah I mean we're coming up this spring so I guess that's smart um, it costs more money to grow indoors and in, even in a greenhouse which is very inexpensive compared to indoor so yeah no I understand it makes sense uh, it's not I don't think you get as good cannabis in Canada outdoors than you would in a greenhouse or an indoor. Uh, in in other countries, say like Colombia or uh, you know Afghanistan and places like that that are known for the mountainous regions and they just have really good conditions to outdoor grow and they make hashish and all this stuff like that, then there's definitely an argument that the outdoor grows pr could be a lot better than these indoor grows but you don't have uh, the chronic, it's it's like hydroponic. So that's what Snoop would say, like the, it's the chronic. But it, uh, he was saying that back when his friends would tell him like the weed was really good, it's hydroponic weed. So yeah, I mean, anyways, uh, so I, I think it's a good move uh, as far as the share price goes for Canopy Growth. Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't look at the share price today, but I'm sure they took some red. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's they're talking about a 700, 800 million dollar impairment, but you know, at the same token, they're gonna lower their expenses, their cost that they're spending every every month. So in the 
in the big scheme of things, it's better to preserve their cash. Their biggest asset right now is their cash. Um, and then they have like David Klein and constellations like distribution. And they got certain cannabis strains that are popular. And they have the, the stores like the Tokyo Smokes. And I don't know how many dispensaries they have, but it seems like they have a few. So that's good for them. But you know, as far as them getting to profitability, it's just a step in the direction. Long term, it'll be a benefit that they did this move. Short term, sure, it's not great. But, you know, I looked at it when when uh, Bruce Linden was gone. Yeah, sure, there's not going to be all this hype in the sector. Or you need Bruce Linden, blah, blah, blah. But if Bruce Linden was still playing around, you know, he would just continually run the company into the ground where they'd have no cash. So, cash is king, cash is king cash is king so you know that's pretty much my summary on canopy growth I mean I like that they sold their marketable securities so now they have more cash and that they want to lower their expenses and everywhere so I like where they're heading but they have a long ways to go um, I knew it from me before whether I said it before on, on my channel but I knew that it was going to be a lot of work for David Klein to do to, to try to transform Canopy Growth into a profitable company. Like he's got the, the amount of stuff that uh, Bruce Linton effed up on, you know, it's insane. I think their next step probably would be, you know, so say they got, who knows how many uh, workers they have in the indoor grows, but let's say they have, uh, you know, a hundred workers per like 200,000 square feet or whatever. Their next probably thing is like to get everybody to work harder. So then uh, only like the hardest worker is going to stay there that are the most efficient workers. So then you get down to like 75, 60 and whatever, like lower the whole workforce. No, it's not good for people. They lose jobs. I'm not saying that's a good thing. But as far as canopy growth to be a world class leader and to be a dynamic player and to eventually be on the S&P 500. They're not going to get on the S&P 500 uh, under uh, Bruce Linton. Um, his guidance, they need, they need to really cut costs, get lean, mean fighting machines. So, anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, just on the dark side, kind of, uh, you know, driving around, uh, telling you what's up with Canopy Growth. Uh, you know, a lot of bearish stuff in the cannabis market right now. Uh, it's based on oil prices going down and just the the sentiment in the market's not very hot Yeah, sure. I never got into the the shrooms trade uh, Mind med me med. I was looking at it on Wednesday, and it was up a lot You know I would have bought it yesterday and sold it in the morning. That'd be okay, but You know, it's not illegal. There's, there's not legal medical for shrooms anywhere um, yeah in Colorado but as far as like uh, federally and all that stuff there's no place so I'm not that bullish yet on the, the shrooms industry I mean if I would have got in on the first day I probably would sell maybe like two-thirds of my trade and then keep the rest uh, right on the house that's that's what I would have done but right now, chasing it at a dollar, uh, if it's close to a dollar, not, not my forte. Uh, chasing's, chasing can work, but you know, you gotta be really, really uh, tight. You gotta be tight efficient, you know. You get in at say like 99 cents or whatever, and then it goes down to say 90 cents, that's when you get out. It'd be like a 10 percent uh, stop loss like you got to be d diligent right because for all you know it's gonna go back down to like 30 cents or even lower right um, you've seen it with uh, Bill's uh, Dan Bilzerian's uh, stock when it IPO'd it went to like four dollars and then you know straighten out like a dollar right now so you know it's just all this cheap paper uh, Bruce Linton and Kevin O'Leary had all this cheap paper that they got um, not even like a penny they got it like from like 0 0.0003 like 
I think like a third of a penny or maybe one thirtieth of a penny uh, they got their shares at so that's really cheap paper uh, that's what happened with uh, Medman and uh, they sold a lot of stock you know it went up to six seven bucks or whatever but you know it didn't stay there so anyways keep compounding your info listen to my lingo and uh, shaka peace I'm out you guys take care be careful in the market stay tuned I'm gonna be uh, doing more videos uh, especially for my Sunday Sunday uh, live show on uh, in the afternoon at around uh, 5 30 to 6 6 o'clock p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time or 8 30 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time so Anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to add me on uh, Twitter at CompoundStock13, I uh, do a lot of stuff on Twitter, and uh, you can talk to me. Uh, you can DM me if you want to chat. I am chatting with um, a half dozen people. They send me messages, and I'm chatting with them. I reply to people as long as you're nice and uh, you know respectful and all that stuff. Um, I don't have a problem talking to people. Anyways, uh, peace, I'm out.